different look today. Uh, I thought I would start today's video with like a vlog of what is going on here and all of the things. We're outside and we're checking the chickens. It's wet here and the problem with wet is their coop is wet and their run is wet and we're trying to address it today so I think we're going to have to go to tractor supply and a bunch of different places because on my list of things many things that we have to do today uh, one of them is to dry out their run uh, here I'll show you so uh, it's obviously a mess through here because they have food and whatnot but it's like kind of a sheet of ice underneath so I thought maybe if I did oh, Cogburn says hello I thought maybe if I did wood chips here it would be a little bit better than literally nothing then as you can see over here the gigantic puddles this is where they generally dust bathe and you know the water has kind of come up all over this coop so I obviously I don't want them stepping in cold water because they're gonna get sick somebody's gonna get sick and they already look ridiculous and wet so I thought I would take you guys along on a journey with me I think we're gonna do soil to kind of dry it out make a new dust bath area for them and uh, I have a bunch of other errands to run too Say hi! Okay, seems a little excessive. It's also kind of wet in here too, so I don't really know what to do with that, but I think come spring we are going to have to redo most of the coop. I'm turning their heat lamps off because I thought maybe it would dry it out a little bit, but since I'm leaving the house, that seems like a dangerous idea. Okay, we're leaving now. <laughs> and obviously, as you can see, they're very bored. Piper? Hi. So yeah, let's uh, get in the shower and change our look up a little bit and get going. probably wondering why I took this plant in the shower with me. It's because, well, it's unhappy. And the last time I brought her back to life, I took her in the shower with me for about three weeks and she bounced right back. So, needy. Okay, we are ready and in the car to go. We have a timeline. We're gonna go to the post office to drop off some packages. And then we're going to my friend Chelsea's house where we will take care of her cats because she's out of town. So we'll get to see some kitties soon. And from there, we're gonna go to uh, Tractor Supply and Lowe's. So here we go. Hello. Hi, babies. Harry, what are you doing on the table? How's it going? Hello, dog bug. Oh, hello. Hello, poor babies. Did you miss us? Yeah, you're lonely. How are you? What are you doing? Hmm. Too much, huh? Yeah, not really a super lovey boy today. No. Look. Look, look. Hi. Hi, babies. Come here. Use your back. Use your back. 
Oh, look at you. Hi. Oh, lovey. He know lovey. And we are here. Big blue lows. Woo. Let's see if I can find um, topsoil. And I already have this stuff. It's like a powder that you mix in. It's similar to wood ash, so it's like good for the chicken's feathers. We're gonna mix that into the topsoil. And we're also maybe going to get some uh, wood chips here in a bag of sand so that it's all together. Let's see. Pretty sure one of these plants is on the list. Look at that, so many. And there's more. We need a plant. the gravel I'm after, I don't think. Firewood, salt, ooh, potty mix. Garden soil, potty mix, potty mix. I just think I need top soil. Hmm, those are all potting. All right. In ground soil, more potting, garden soil for in ground use. Sea gravel, 458 a bag. Paver sand. What did mom say? She said sand, but what did she say? Let's see. Mini. Oh, that's cute. Decorative stones. Autumn red stone. Those are pavers over there. This, we just need sand. She's like, oh, you could get the, the light sand. Paver sand, joint sand for pavers. Because I was looking at the wrong stuff. So I got two things of play sand. And we both kind of scratched our head on what to do about this project. And then I got raised bed soil because it's 100% organic, which means there's nothing in there. We're gonna mix those together. Turns out I forgot to uh, start filming, but right now I'm uh, throwing leaves in here to kind of soak up a lot of the water. you we did a lot of leaves in the bottom now I'm gonna shave or er, shovel out some shavings and put those to help soak up more water totally winded This is a camera. That's all I've done so far. I've just added some shavings because they're already wet inside the coop to begin with. And they'll continue to soak up some of that excess water before I put the soil and the sand down. You're gonna see me very winded.
have the birds out right now. They are free ranging. I'm getting some grubs and grass. Dryer. I got a new feeder, which will be exciting to see them. I haven't done my new waterer yet. I do have a new waterer I also got for Christmas. Well, the coop looks better. Also put a ton of leaves in their run, uh, just because it's a mess and I didn't get wood chips today like I wanted. So the leaves are a temporary fix. frozen solid. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. This was a really ambitious idea. And also my potting soil is, well, or the uh, raised bed organic soil is frozen solid because it was outside at Lowe's. And I thought, oh, it's fine. It'll thaw. It hasn't. So this is what we're dealing with so far. Kind of hard to tell, but it's a mixture of whatever soil I could break off, some leaves and the shavings to suck up the water, and a whole bunch of play sand. Now, the good news is there's no more puddles. And I don't think the chickens will have any issues keeping it that way. The bad news is it's not anything like I wanted <laughs> or expected. But here we are. More dirt on my glasses and face. We're getting a little bit further. Both play bags of sand have been added and that's what we're dealing with with the frozen soil. Uh, sometimes I can chip it off little by little. I haven't decided if I'm gonna let the birds enjoy it tonight. I don't know. The sun it's starting to set. I've been doing this for way too long and really need to stretch tonight. Otherwise, tomorrow will be rough. That's the end result. Put a rock in there so that they can stand on it. And those are two solid blocks of soil. So I will have to let you know on tomorrow. I'm going to let it harden overnight.